I'm Maryland Newsline's Michelle Williams, and I went to Capitol Hill to talk to Congressman Roscoe Bartlett about his re-election campaign for Maryland's 6th Congressional District. We started off talking about why he thinks he would do a better job than his challenger, Jennifer Doherty. I am a better fit for the constituents of the 6th District because I am conservative. I want less government, less regulation, less taxes, less spending. And uh, I think that whether a person is a better a representative of the government uh, for the people or not depends upon whether they, uh, whether their views are consistent with the views of the people. As my wife says, if you don't represent your district, you won't represent your district. You have about $260,000 more than your challenger in the bank. Will this affect how you'll run your race? Well, you know, we run every race as if we're 20 points behind. We believe if we run like we're 20 points behind, we probably won't be 20 points behind and we're going to run this race like we've run every other race, uh, really respecting our, uh, our opponent and uh, uh, doing everything we can to continue to serve the constituents of the 6th District and convince them that our prior service justifies another two years of service. What is your position on the Iraq War? So I uh, was opposed to the way we got into that war if we were going to get into that war, I wanted to go into that war under a UN resolution. I'm not a big fan of the UN, and most of the constituents that I have the honor of representing would like us out of the UN and the UN out of us. But the UN ought to be good for giving us cover for something like this, and you know, I've made the observation, if they're not good for that, maybe they're good for nothing as far as the average American citizen uh, is concerned. Well, we didn't get a UN resolution, but here we are. And so rather than looking uh, back, we have to look forward. And I think that most rational people believe that we cannot precipitously pull out of Iraq. By the way, we couldn't if we wanted to. It took uh, uh, George Bush one uh, seven months to move fewer troops to the Gulf for the Gulf War. If we wanted a precipitous pull out, it would take a very long time, many months to do that. And military experts tell us that, that every day in that procedure, our remaining troops would be at greater and greater danger, and there could be horrific damages to our troops as we pulled out and so that they could no longer be uh, protected. Uh, also, the United States and the world cannot afford a failure in Iraq. So although I was opposed to the way we got there, we're there now and we just have to work as hard as we can for a successful conclusion. How is the economy factoring into your re-election campaign? The uh, major concern of uh, our constituents has shifted from uh, the Iraq war and uh, uh, immigration to the economy. Uh, the economy and of course the price of oil is very important in that is now the number one issue uh, facing our people. What other issues are you focusing on in your campaign? I've had the honor now for 15 years of representing the constituents and serving the constituents of the 6th District. And uh, for eight campaigns now, this is my ninth, I've run on a consistent platform that our government is too big, it taxes too much, it regulates too much, and it spends far too much.